What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here today with another requested video on the difference between a Suron X or a Suron Light B and a Stealth Bomber clone. I'm fortunate enough to have both of them so I figured I'd make this video to kind of show you the difference between the two. So let's go ahead and get started. My Suron is a little bit more um, I guess upgraded you can call it. It usually comes in black but pretty much what you have here is a super nice aluminum frame mid-drive motor over here that's connected to the primary drive and there is a shaft and if you come around this way you will see that the shaft is moving another sprocket into a chain into this main sprocket which turns the whole thing and that's the drivetrain. This is your motor over here it's a 3000 watt continuous 6000 watt peak and over here we have the battery which is removable and you can remove the battery just by undoing this disconnecting the cable and the battery can just come out and replaceable also with the Suron battery stock is a 60 volt 32 amp hour even though the newer Surons come with a 60 volt 38 amp hour and it will give you a range of about 30 miles obviously depending on how you drive and you can actually run uh, different batteries for this aftermarket batteries for power for range whichever you want there's a few different brands who offer batteries for this bike in the front we have the controller which pretty much tells the bike how much power to deliver and all that good stuff again on mine it's upgraded and this is also an upgradable part as far as the tires go we got a 1919 that's how it comes stock from the factory if you want to have more traction a lot of people replace the rear tire for a 16 so you can have a 1619 setup some people uh, opt to go to the 1821 setup which i guess rolls over rocks and things like that a little better but that's pretty much the suron over here now there's definitely some upgrades on mine i replaced my headlight i upgraded my seat I threw a wrap on mine, I added different grips, I added mirrors, I added an on off switch for the light. Those are all things that are available for the Suron. Now on the other hand, we have the Stealth Bomber clone. Now this is a clone, this is not the original Stealth Bomber. The original Stealth Bomber is about $10,000 starting and this platform is a little different where it runs on the hub motor in the back. It's not a mid-drive. So we have a hub motor running the whole system. There's a battery compartment in here. The battery is not as removable as the Suron is. You just gotta open these screws up and this panel opens up, same on the other side. And then you can remove the battery. It is a little bit harder to do than the Suron. So the battery in here is kind of meant to stay inside also the controller is housed inside as well but like i said it runs gets its power and goes to the hub motor now there are different types of hub motors when you purchase this i actually have a video on how to purchase this online there's a 3000 a 5000 watt 8000 watt 10000 this is a 12000 watt and it's running a 72 volt battery that's 45 amp hour same with this this is a 1919 setup but the tires are a little bit thicker than the suron and it also has a headlight a rear light with blinkers and a nice information screen over here giving you all the details and all the information you need like battery percentage and such which is over here also on this bike we have this pedal system which is just a single gear at low speeds it kind of works but once you pass about 20 miles an hour it doesn't really work anymore and that's pretty much the main difference between this and the real stealth bomber the real stealth bomber has a very intricate system over here that allows you to pedal at high speeds but from my experience i've never seen anybody use it at high speeds anyways once you start throttling you're gonna use the throttle forever as far as suspension goes the suron has a kke forks or it comes with dnm forks a lot of people upgrade that as well to either fast ace some people get fox shocks on there or the bomber 58s some people actually put dirt bike forks on there which is a little bit more work to do but it's doable 
as far as the stealth bomber it also comes with kke shocks even though they're not as good as those kke shocks but it is kke shocks and the rear has also a kke shock same with the suron it has a kke shock which is all upgradable as far as top speed and range the suron stock will do about 40 to 45 miles an hour which again is upgradable and you'll get a range of about 30 miles with this bike the top speed is 64 miles an hour and I get a range of about 32 miles as well now as far as drivability and stuff like that this is all from my experience from my experience I found out that the stealth bomber and this whole setup is amazing when you ride on the road as far as the road goes it's a road monster it just eats it up I did take it to the trails but I found that the hub motor is I guess so so when it comes to very steep hills and things like that and very bumpy rides I'm not sure how much the hub motor really likes that so as far as road this is probably amazing I do have dirt tires on there right now eventually I will get road tires for this and this will be a perfect bike for the road this bike is perfect for the average commuter if you're gonna do roads and pathways bike lanes this is amazing I don't fully suggest it for off-road even though it is capable of doing it on the other hand the Sauron is amazing for dirt it's pretty much a hybrid between a dirt bike and a really nice mountain bike so this is meant for trail riding and all that good stuff now you can also ride it on the road you just probably want to replace the tires to some road tires some guys actually run 12s and 14 inch tires and it's also very good for the road so overall i say the suron is better when it comes to that type of stuff the final and most important thing is price now i know prices change so guys this is as of early 2023 the Sauron is about forty five forty six hundred dollars stock now as far as the stealth bomber clone there are different specs you can get for it and because there are different specs the price varies I do have a video on my channel on how to purchase this bike online I'll put up a link up uh, up on the screen highly suggest checking that out the price will vary anywhere between two thousand dollars to four thousand dollars depending on the specs you go for what battery what hub motor and all that stuff as far as conclusions goes i love them both i love my Suron when i go trail riding i love my stealth bomber when i do city riding so i love them so much i own both of them so that's pretty much it i really hope you guys found this information helpful for the people who are looking to get a bike or an e-bike and you're not sure which platform you want to go for i really hope this was helpful for you guys to make the right decision and if you found this information helpful definitely leave a thumbs up for this video consider subscribing to the channel it really helps out the channel and lets me know i'm doing a good job so i can deliver more information and more videos and content for you guys but that pretty much does it for me guys i appreciate you watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace